Oh, I see how that works. Hey, y'all. I'm on the Dr. Hockey podcast with... Oh, so you you are live on your... I'm on live on my... Uh, uh, yeah, perfect. yeah. Good. The reason it's not it's not doing that is because we're not I live see, together. perfect. Yeah. All right, well, let's do it then. Y'all will get a sneak peek of the podcast before it's live. I'll end it when my battery gets a quarter of the way dead. If you want to plug it in, I can give you a plug. Oh, I'd love that. Yeah, Thank you. Let's do that so you don't have to juice out. You mean the one that's there in front of your computer? Yeah, but I need a oh. plug plug, right? I guess you plug it into my computer and just not... Just don't download everything. <laughs> I will. It's just pictures of my dogs, my food, and my recovering breasts. That's good. There you go. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, you got one there? <clears throat> so hospitable. Thank you. Get all the tech in place. Thank you so Very much. Important. I got a cord. We're good. Let's do this. Let's do that hockey. <laughs> Someone thought I was funny. All right. Let's see. Is this everybody? <clears throat> Thank you. <laughs> Was it? SNL uh, callback. Yeah. Where he usually does the basketball um, and uh, like co- color commentating, and then they have him doing sideline reporting for hockey, and he's like, I know nothing about hockey. Oh, that's right. Let's do that <laughs> hockey. That's right. That's a good... It's funny. He's like, yeah, and then there were some guys that were trying to put the... The puck and the, I saw that was uh, you know the funny thing that's like the LA sportscasters in 2012 when the Kings finally made the playoffs and did well. They don't know how to act. That's true. They didn't know anything. Yeah. any of the players. Didn't know anything. And they also actually also used the Sacramento Kings emblem instead of the LA Kings emblem. That's Interesting. Hilarious. Yeah, that's you not know correct. That? Yeah. Well, the uh, well, let's we'll talk yeah. about it on the podcast. <clears throat> Sean, you ready? Good. Okay. Welcome to the Dr. Hockey Podcast. This is a big day. I am very excited to have with me, of course, my uh, one and only faithful co-host, Jason Berkeley, who is post-op day now number nine. Number nine. And uh, he is healing well, still alive, has not uh, expired from the surgery that we did. No, and my path report was normal except for just some inflammation, so I'm feeling good about this. That's right. Well, I'm happy to have you here. And, and I'm on vacation right now. It's a staycation, technically. Well, we want to hear all about the staycation. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But I'd like to welcome our guest today. Yes. Also yeah. recovering from post-op from you. Right, post-op day uh, 28, 9, something like that? Yeah, yeah. Mia Khalifa. Hello. Who, uh, has also survived her operation, thank <laughs> God. Uh, we try to do. You're two, two, you're two and zero. Oh. <laughs> I try to do survival surgery at all times. Right. It's something that I strive for. He'd have to find new guests if he killed either of us. That would be, that, and you know, that's actually a lot harder than it sounds to find new guests. Yeah. You know, I mean, yes. uh, it's easier to find new patients. That's right. Of course, there's a lot of people in this world. We'll we'll, we'll make them. So he's the yellow pages, right? That's right. Exactly. Oh my god. The yellow pages. Wow. <laughs> Has anybody brought the yellow pages in like 14 years? I think for the environment, they got rid of them. Now yeah, they're just we online. Actually still got them when we had a, home, a phone line, a home line. Uh, it was being dropped off at our front door. And I said, who uses this? I don't know anybody that has a yellow pages anymore. Any, anyone but with a coffee a table that's a little uneven? That could be the, true. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> that's probably what they're good for. Well, it's, it's playoff time, and uh, I know that... Jason has definite uh, opinions. I am sure Mia Khalifa has definite opinions on what's going to happen with the playoffs and why things are the way they I are. I don't have definite opinions about this. And I'm gonna really? go, I want to go into that in a little bit, not just yet, but we will, uh, about the Maple Leafs. Um, and actually, well, yeah, I mean, there's I'm an issue the there. Yeah, there's an issue there we'll get into. And also, not uh, there's an issue with a couple other playoff teams, including Winnipeg. I mean, there's a few other teams that are kind of... Well, having, Winnipeg just clinched. Is that correct? Yeah, they were the first they to clinch. Clinched. They clinched. Tampa Bay clinched. Uh, first uh, in the West. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah because, first in the West. But, but here's yeah. the thing. Tampa, uh, Winnipeg, since the All-Star break, has basically played about 500 hockey. Yes. They have not been lights out like you'd expect. And there's something going on there, as is in Toronto, that I'm not quite sure if we're going to see these two teams... Past the second round. No, I agree with you 100%. There's on something the, going on. on. The Maple Leafs. And I, I'm, I'm going to get into the Maple Leafs. Do you think Leafs their strength bit, of but... schedule isn't uh, hard enough? You think that they're letting their foot off the gas? Well, I, I think as far as Toronto goes in particular, I think it's going to boil down to their defense. Um, they are, but they're also having some issues 
with that, but also uh, on even strength play, they're twenty seventh in the league on total shot attempts. That's not going to cut it. No, not in the playoffs. No, I mean, no, they, they not be in doing playoffs, or especially anything. with their firepower. And, and you know they're thirtieth in shots on goal against. So I mean, we're talking about a team. Okay, well, I guess we'll get into it now. <laughs> we're talking about a team <laughs> that's really their their main goal is to just what. I was wondering if Robert's coming in here. Oh. No, no, no. He let him eat. All right. Yeah. He'll just crunch in Go here ahead with his salad. We'll, we'll bring you in a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> we, we've got, uh, we've actually got, uh, like a, the cadre of people in the podcast one studio today. So we have Dr. Anthony Corrado, who is uh, a guy that I've worked with in the past and he's, uh, from New Jersey. He's going to talk to us about the Devils, who are Ooh. not going to be in the playoffs <laughs> at all. I mean, they just, they're not, not only are they not going to be in the playoffs, but I think they're going to be excused from the NHL. Yeah, they're, there they're getting bumped down to AHL. To the AHL yeah. at, at the way that things have gone for them. And, uh, we'll actually get Christy Flannery to weigh in with, uh, Corrado on that. But, uh, and also Robert Sandberg, the Swedish chef. Yes. Who, uh, I mean. Not the you, Muppet. No, right. not the Muppet. But <laughs> boingo, the boingo, true, boingo. That, that was the <laughs> true that. Swedish chef <laughs> from, uh, from the south of, uh, Sweden from Gothenburg. Which is where my hand surgeon, Carl Garan Hoggard, who taught me hand surgery, was from. And so I have a, a place for Gothenburg in my heart. I'm just, like I said, what was it like doing it with your feet before he taught you that? It was, uh, <laughs> it was hard. Uh, but, you know, dad joke. <laughs> that was a dad joke, actually. That's what my son would say. You know, Bo would be <laughs> like, uh, do you have, do, Am I going to tell dad jokes when I'm a dad? I was like, you definitely are, Bo. It happens. It happens to all of us, and you can't help it. But, dad but jokes just, are the best. But here's the thing, though. Mia's with a chef. I mean, how great is that to it's have a great. chef? Dude. It's, it's also sick. great to have a friend who's a surgeon who can suck that fat out of you <laughs> well, after the chef does the damage. I would rather it's have the double the chef, combo. But, uh, you know, <laughs> wake up in the morning. What would you like? You know, you want some cereal, whatever? No, no, no. We have, you know, oh. crepes. Oh, with my this, God. You know, come no, on, this, it's the this difference. This foie gras um, egg emulsion with brioche that he made me once. Jesus Christ. I think that, that breakfast <laughs> alone was about 4,000 calories, and I regret not None a single it. bite. Oh, yeah, no, it's delicious. It was amazing. Ace actually started taking cooking lessons at OSHA, the Orange School, uh, Orange County uh, School Is of the Arts. Is you like a 30-year-old guy at this point? I mean, it's he unbelievable. loves food. That's he, great. And so he wants we've to learn to cook. got to get him in the kitchen with That's Robert. Great. Totally. But he loves cooking. He's like, oh, I'm, I can make this. And, he, you know, I'm like, Ace, have at it. We need a chef in the house. Because, like, I got pancakes, and after that, I'm done. <laughs> like, there, there's nothing else good about my cooking. I can grill a burger, maybe, but, you know, not so helpful. So anyway, the back to the Leafs. So the Maple Leafs. Again, so another stat that's interesting as well. They're 20th in scoring chances against. So you're talking about the bottom tier of three statistics they have to do with their defense. And between when Gardner and Dermott was, were injured, I think that the stats were relatively about the same. So it wasn't like that they came back or whatever, or since they were gone, things the wheels fell off. It was like that pretty much the whole season. So what their what their goal is and what the Leafs are, Leafs are trying to do is basically just kind of pummel you with scoring and offense. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's, is that what you think of the Leafs? <laughs> or me. <laughs> <laughs> but little A, little B. <laughs> wow, they're trying to. What they're trying to do is they're basically just trying to pummel you into a submission and outscore you. I mean, and Anderson's a really good goalie. I mean, don't get me wrong; he's a great goalie, and he can only do so much, though. So I, I don't well, know what's right. going to happen with this team. I, I have some real reservations about. I mean, I'm still going to. They're my pick, and I'm still standing behind them. But I have your some pick real, for what? For the cup. I picked them. In, <laughs> I picked them the day. Oh that my God! I wish you could have heard. The Mia Khalifa face. Because I, I, when listening, that came when out listening to a podcast, it's hard to get <laughs> yes. how, how painful that was. But, you know. Anyway, but my point so, is. So no, Mia? Not on, no on the Toronto Maple Leafs? Hard, honestly. You, no. No. So as I was saying, <laughs> they're going to try to score you into a submission and maybe beat you 7-4 to four or 7-6 to six or whatever it's going to be. That's, I think, what they're going to have to potentially go towards. I don't know what's going to happen, but. I was reading an article as well. It meant talking about basically the last time that Babcock got out of the second round, I think may have been 2012, if I'm not mistaken, maybe 2010. So it's been a while since he's really had a team that's gone beyond the first, maybe even second round at all. So I don't know. I mean, I, I, listen, Toronto has a very narrow window 
to try to do this. They have. It's not that narrow. They have, they they have, have some good players that they, are going to be around for a bit. Yes, they do. They have. They're their all main, young. That's a young yeah. team. But they have their main core signed for eight years. But you have to remember, this also takes time to not only cultivate these these players around them, but to have a team. I mean, chemistry is everything. We're seeing this with Carolina, who's playing outstanding with not really a superstar on the team. Who's the oldest player on Toronto? Nazem Kadri? It might be. It might be. Like, that is a terrible a locker yeah. room leader to have. Well, I, w- I wouldn't say, well, well I, I think the leader. I think Tavares is the leader, and obviously, and, uh, but, but, but still, it's going to be one of the situations where, you know, if you don't have defense and someone that could stop a, a game, if you score three or four goals, uh, you have a two or three goal lead on a team any given night. You should have a lockdown defense to be able to win the cup and go far to protect that lead. Well, I think that's why they brought Jake Muzzin over. And, and that, that was a, a, a welcome addition. They needed somebody like that. But I agree with you. I think that, I think that the Toronto Maple, Maple Leafs are not uh, cup bound. I think that they are uh, out in the first or the second round. And unfortunately... Well, by, by the way, you know who they're going to potentially play in the first round right now is Boston. And they're getting healthy. Oh, and they're Boston's getting better. really good. Right and they're yeah, really they look good. Really I yeah. mean, this is something where you're going to be running into a team that's taking a nosedive and another team that's actually coming up, you know, 